Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sarah and I hope you choose this day a while. So we are finally into October and October is my one of my favorite months. I love Halloween. I enjoy getting to dress up and be someone different for the night. So because it is Halloween and is my favorite season, I am going to do a giveaway this month. So in previous videos, I've shown you what I've got stashed for my giveaway drawer. What my plan is, is to fill basically one of the glossy boxes full of stuff. And I will send that out to one lucky winner. For this contest, all you have to do is be subscribed, comment on this video here, and like the video. That is it. Uh, and leave, obviously, leave me a way to get in touch with you. And then at the end of the month, so I'm thinking the 29th or 30th, I will let you know in the next video for sure. I will close the contest and draw a name. So it's going to run the entire month of October. That way it also lets me get my glossy box, my look fantastic, and my ipsy for October and add anything else to the giveaway that comes in that I want to send out. Okay? So, for today's video, we are going to start doing some October-y, Halloween-y looks. So, to start the video, I was very divided on what I wanted to do. But I just wanted to do more of like a pumpkin-y look, some oranges and browns, and just, you know, very fall. Or if I wanted to start into those Halloween-type looks. I think I am going to do a Halloween-y look. So, I am going to use the Morphe 35C Everyday Chic palette and we're going to concentrate in those darker shades. So we're going to probably focus in on this bottom row here just to give it some really smoky, mysterious kind of look. Now the wearing the masks a lot lately has completely messed with my skin so I am going to go really lightly on my face makeup today just because I'm finally starting to get the dryness and the peeling and such off of my cheeks here so I don't want to mess with that <clears throat> so that's the plan I am going to start by priming my lids with my Morphe lid primer let's get a little bit here so we are in full blowing searching for an apartment or a new house uh, right now it's looking like we are looking for a five bedroom so we are sticking to a house and to say the least it's been difficult I have dealt with a couple of different real estate agents so far just at the houses that we have seen uh, first guy we saw which was a, a actual condo apartment which was a four bedroom it was the first place we saw Let's just say he came off very car sales mini. And I'm sure you guys will understand what I mean by that. And then the next place we saw, my husband and I loved it. We were happy. We wanted to apply to get it, like put in our application. And the dude was just kind of, oh, I don't know. I can't think of a nice word to say that won't get me into YouTube trouble. So, more not. I am going to start by priming my lids with Feeling Pretty here. Which is just a really nice taupey color. So just to set the primer I just put on. Since we are going to go really dark today. So, that experience did not go well. So we saw another house last weekend and it was really pretty except there there were some definite flaws in the place so we didn't go for that but we did end up talking to the realtor who was renting that place and he was i really did like him i felt like i connected really well with him so we are using him as our realtor for this experience and let's just say I've never used a realtor to rent a home, an apartment, a house, whatever before. So it's definitely a very new 
experience. And I, I'm not sure yet. I'll get back to you guys if it's a positive one or not. So I, I just, I don't know. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. Alright, so we are going to start on the outer corner this time and work our way in. And I am going to start with Ethereal, I think it is. It's this shade here. Now I have no clue how this is going to turn out. I don't know if this is going to work or not. But we are going to see. I'm just going to put that down there. And of course I can't actually see what I'm doing. So I'm going to pull my mirror closer here so I can ooh, see if I can actually see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to drag that through my crease. Okay, so that's that started. And then we're going to lighten it up a tiny bit with this gray here. And that's going to go in the middle, kind of like a base. So that's almost like a greeny cut, like a army green, I guess, a, or an olive, dark green, olivey color. And then, because it always seems to work better with my finger, I am going to take heels on and pop that in the inner corner. That's really dark. And just pull it out a little bit. Interesting. What do you think so far? Same thing on the other side. Now usually I work from the inside out, but I figured why not try something different today. So that is very dark and you can see, I know my bags aren't that dark, the fallout there on my cheek. Let's just grab a brush here and see if we can get rid of some of that. That is better. I am, am going to darken up the under eye too though just to keep with this look going but instead of using like an eyeliner brush because I want it kind of fluffy I am not I'm going to use more like an angled fluffy brush and we're going to use that olivey color and see how this works it may turn out horrendous and this may not work but I am going for a very smoky kind of look so Okay, not bad so far. I do want to add some more sparkle and shine. So we are going to grab one of these shimmers here. Don't think I want to go with the press glitter, but the one I used for my inner corner, this guy here, it's not as shimmery and as bright as I would have liked it. Actually, you know what? We're not going to even use this palette for it. We are going to grab my Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild. We're going to take star and fluff it over top. Alright, let's see how this works. Grab a little bit on my brush. Okay. 
What do you think? I'm honestly not sure. I think it just looks like a dark mess on my eyelid. But, you know, if you never try, you never know if it's going to work. And really, in the end of the day, it's all just makeup. It's going to wash off. So, what's really, truly the worst thing that happens? I spend a half an hour playing with makeup and then I wash it off because it didn't work. But I've learned something. So, you know not the worst thing in the world to have happen. I do want to do something with my upper brow to highlight up there, but I think we're going to stick with the Anastasia for that. And we're going to go in with Blue Moon. So we're just going to take a little Blue Moon here. None of these palettes have a uh, mirror, so I have to continue to use my big one. But I think that works. Alright, so this is kind of a witchy, dark, mysterious look. What do you think so far? So I am going to go ahead and off camera I'm going to do primer and a really light foundation. I'm going to use the BB Perlice cream just to give a, even out my skin tone a bit. Um, then I'll decide as I go what I'm doing with eyelashes and um, maybe an eyeliner. I did grab my white out but I think that's going to be too much. But we'll see and I'll be back. Alrighty guys so this is the finished look. So I obviously went in with Smashbox lip gloss. I did some highlight here with the Anastasia and just finished it up with some mascara. I think it turned out really nicely. I would love a little bit of glitter or something in the lid just to lighten it up a little bit more but I think for a dark mysterious kind of Alvira type look or a witch or what have you I think it turned out wonderfully. So that is my video for today. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and to hit the notification bell to get notifications. Um, don't forget, there is a contest that is starting in this video. So if, oh goodness, that's better. So if you want to be entered in for the giveaway, make sure you leave a comment down below with how I can contact you. Make sure you're subscribed. Until the next one, guys, I hope you have a wonderful, spooky October.